Hello everyone, it's Joseph with EVGA and today I'm going to be showing you how to install an M.2 drive into your EVGA motherboard. Now this can also apply to other manufacturers motherboards to some extent uh, but I'm showing you more specifically on an EVGA board so some things may vary a little bit. Um, this is also going to be an M.2 drive that is PCIe based so it is an NVMe. Um, there's also SATA based drives uh, I'm also not going to be showing that one today specifically as well. Okay, so to jump right in, uh, for the EVGA X299 Dark motherboard, uh, we do have a cooler built in. This is an M.2 cooler, uh, so you're going to want to remove the three screws here first. That'll give you access to the M.2 slot. Okay, there you have it. Now, um, with an M.2 slot, it's going to look like this. It's a very small uh, PCIe lane here. Uh, it's hooked up directly to the PCIe lanes on the on the motherboard itself. Uh, some of them are going to be shared with SATA connections instead. Uh, just go ahead and make sure that you read your motherboard's manual first to make sure you're installing into the right slot. In this case, I can go into either one of these because they're both key M's. Uh, so it'll say right here uh, M.2 socket 3 key M. X299 dark motherboard is uh, particularly nice because it does let you know which socket is which one in correspondence to what you'll see in BIOS. Okay so in this case uh, we have a tiny screw here. This is a very small screw and this is what you're going to use to actually screw down the M.2 uh, chip. So go ahead and remove that screw as well. and then you're just going to go ahead and plug in the M.2 drive right here. Now you're going to see there's a split um, that corresponds to the slot here. So once it's in it'll pop up a little bit like that. You just need to push it down and then screw it in. And don't go too tight. The next step is just to replace the uh, shield here on the X299 Dark. All right. Okay, so in this case I'm going to hook up the graphics card. I did have to remove this uh, previously because it was covering up the M.2 slot. Might be a little bit different on your motherboard. So we're going to power on the system now and then I'm going to show you here on the screen um, uh, what settings you need to change for the M.2. It, the X299 Dark is already pre-configured to use an M.2 drive. Uh, so you don't really have to do much, but I am going to show you uh, in case you don't have this board or in case you have an outdated BIOS uh, some of the options that you're going to need to look at to make sure that it's working. So let's power this on and take a look. Okay, so now we're here in the BIOS. Now the first thing that I'd like to do is go over to Advanced and just check in here. Uh, we have the NVMe information page on newer BIOSes. This option might not be there if you're on an older BIOS or on a different motherboard. Uh, but it's really convenient with some of the newer BIOS that we have. So in the NVMe information page, you'll see right here it lists any NVMe drives that are already installed. So that's very helpful. Um, if you don't see anything there, you might have done something wrong in the install, so just go back, make sure that everything looks like it's connected properly. Maybe even put it in a different slot or reference the manual to make sure you're putting it in the right slot. So the next thing that you want to look at here in Advanced is the onboard device configuration. Now this is where you can enable or disable M.2 slots. So you'll see down here below, uh, even with the X299 Dark you can even select if it's going to pull the lanes from the PCH or from the CPU. I'd go with the CPU if you're using an NVMe drive. Another place that I like to look is the boot section. Um, in the boot section you should also see a drive if it's installed in this case under hard disk it's showing Windows Boot Manager because I already do have Windows installed on this M.2 drive. Uh, but another way to check is if you scroll all the way down you're gonna see the UAFI hard disk drive BBS priorities. If you click on that uh, you'll also see any drives that are enabled and, and essentially uh, on this first page here under the boot option for hard disk uh, that's where the BBS priorities is where you're going to select which hard disk it's going to boot off of 
or try to use as a boot device. Okay, so that's pretty much all the settings that you need to look at in regards to M.2. Um, if everything's checking out like it is here, you should be able to put in your Windows Media and get Windows loaded onto that drive if that's what you're attempting to do. Um, so that's pretty much it. Again, thanks a lot guys for joining us. We're going to have a lot more videos like this coming out. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, please leave those below and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. You have a good one. That's probably my fastest ever, even though... It wasn't bad. Okay, and then uh, find any screws that you drop. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> That's good. Okay, I don't know what happened to this little screw. We have three sticks of memory. There's four. There's only three showing. <laughs> You've got each chin, each layer back. Yeah, ugly but focused, as I like okay, to say. Okay, perfect.